Hello and welcome. In this short video, I would like to show you how to add X and Y coordinates like from a spreadsheet to ArcGIS and in this case ArcMap. So I've prepared a little list of coordinates. So we have here coordinates.txt, simple file, tab separated so you can, so you can see the tabs here. And um, there is uh, the name, then an attribute called x long, y latitude, and some sort of value that does not matter for that minimal example. And there are three, uh, three entries here, London, Berlin, and Paris, with approximate x and y coordinates. So this is a file, and I would like to add those points to the map. So I was starting with a new with a new map, and in this case now what I will do is when it's responsible or when it is uh, available here because I have some issues, uh, I would like to add x and y coordinates. So this goes via add data, add x y data. Just double click there, then choose your file. Mm, I'm already here into the desktop mode. And there it is, coordinates.txt. Normally it tries to find the X and Y field uh, for itself, or tries to find X and Y field for itself. So if you're not really satisfied with the, with the situation, just choose from the drop down here. We don't have a Z field, uh, so we don't have a height value. And what is crucial is the coordinate system of input coordinates. So when it comes to the file, you have seen that this were decimal degrees. So we will use decimal degrees and in the edit section here, we can simply search for a project coordinate system. And um, this is here in the project coordinate system, but we don't use that. We will use a geographic coordinate system because we don't have project data here. And in our case, it is the 4326 that is most widely used. And it has decimal degrees, it is non-projected. And yeah, the, the GOE, so the, the underlying assumptions are mostly valid for all the world. And normally GPS coordinates are in that system. So we will use this, WGS 1984, double click on OK. Warn me if the resulting layer will have restricted functionality. Yeah, that's fine. So just press on OK. Now, uh, the table does not have any object field, so it will be created. Um, that is OK at the moment. So now it works. So we have here London, Berlin, and Paris. And unfortunately, the OpenStreetMap base map here is not very, very fast in rendering in my ArcMap distribution. But you can see that we now have an event layer here. And we need to we need to save that as a shapefile in the end so we can work with that afterwards in an appropriate way. So right click on coordinates txt text event and just data export data. We will export all features to our feature uh, class called cities in this case and it is stored here under the ArcGIS okay yes I would like to override it do you want to add the files yes I would like to add them as well and so there we are those are now our coordinates so you can easily also change the uh, change the style of it so it appears a little bit bigger. When the open street map So now we have here our fields. And you can easily ask what is this? No feature identified. There it is. So we have the point, we have an FID, and the values and everything like that. 
Thank you very much for watching. Take care and goodbye.